Back here in uh, the Korean War, March of uh, 51, um, I had had some hopes with the U.S. and kept a Marine Division in place, uh, fully loaded actually, but now I broke it down, we'll see why, uh, to invade uh, up here at Hamyang Pukdo. Assuming they could hold the line. They couldn't. Uh, there was a strong battle in the Taigu area down here. And it went back and forth several times. One of the things I love about this game, uh, both sides had uh, accelerated commitment and the battle just swung back and forth in ways that you would not see in an I go, you go type game. However, numbers again played out and the Chinese broke through and actually have taken all the way down to Busan. And there's a nice big stack of UN units wiped out this turn. <laughs> Um, they also were threatening Wansen, which meant if they captured either of them and uh, nothing happened beyond that, then they win the game, basically, unless uh, the UN can take one of a limited series of, of uh, cities, which... Uh, the UN has to hold... Pusan and this list. Well, right now all they have is Moss. Uh, sorry, that's not Wansan, that's Mossan. I It's very easy for me to uh, forget the names of the places, especially after a long break like I, I took, actually. Um, so the situation is pretty damn dire for the UN at this point. They have to take Pusan back because Pusan itself, if they lose it, they lose the game. Uh, at the end of the action phase. So they've got this big division ready to go take it back, which it probably will be able to, but we'll see. But uh, they might end up losing Wasan because of this. Anyway, we'll see. Or, sorry, Masan. So immediately afterwards, the landing, uh, the UN did manage to take Busan back, and there isn't much Chinese strength to reach it. So Busan's probably safe. The question now is, of course, Masan. And chances are they're not going to be able to take that, but it's going to be an ugly little perimeter. So here's the situation, uh, still March 51, um, halfway through the turn. The UN has managed to get its reconstituted units around the Pusan area itself, which makes it a lot less likely that's going to fall. Um, Masan, however, is in serious trouble. I don't know how... I'm going to divide up the depots to be able to defend both of them. And then this guy on the road is pretty much meat. So, you know, it looks like they're going to be able to hold on with a, a toehold in Korea. Uh, perhaps throughout the game, but it's going to be really rough. Now, of course, there are less and less Chinese units. <laughs> um, that's one of the factors in the game is just... There's a limited number of them. Obviously, China would supply replacements later in the war, but at this point, they've got so much to conduct their offensive, and when it grinds down, hopefully they can hold whatever they took. In this case, what they took is so big that uh, it might be worth trying to push a little further. Chinese got an early jump on initiative and were able to uh, grab Masan. The UN is slowly trying to schlog their way back there. I don't think they can make it. I tried to look at whether or not they could take Taigu instead, and that one Chinese unit there prevents them from getting there. So their only real chance is to try to cut through all those Chinese units. I think that's pretty slim right now. Uh, they can't do a naval invasion. They don't have anything uh, prepared for that. And at the end of this action phase, if they haven't taken Masan back, basically, they lose. So that's the end. Um, I haven't finished the action phase, and I'm not going to, because the UN saw only one opportunity that they could have possibly, even physically, uh, survived the turn. And that was to take Taigu by an attack uh, northward here, and they had to dislodge this unit at bad odds, and then they had to dislodge this unit at ridiculously bad odds. It didn't happen. Um, they only have one unit uncommitted at this point, and it's not going to be able to do anything of value. So uh, I'm just not going to. I mean, the only question is whether these forces could conceivably uh, take Busan. I'm not worried about it. As far as I'm concerned, 
MacArthur is surrendering here and negotiating to pull out. Um, Korea becomes one unified country and maybe like Vietnam turns out a lot better than the actual semi-stalemate victory, whatever you want to call it, that actually happened in Korea. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to need more time to talk about the game itself, so I'm going to close this one up here. But this was definitely one of the more... I've never seen it play out this way. Um, the tentative step across the border was a really, really bad idea. Uh, <laughs> Of course, the UN could not win without going across, but they had to go across with more force than they did, and deeper than they did at first. Um, that much I've learned. And that's what I always thought when I played it, was, oh, can I push this? I think what happened was I got lucky on die rolls, and, or, they, or else I committed much less than I think I did, uh, which is possible. And the UN was able to say, ah, I'm not going to step across because that's bad. I didn't think as much this time as I usually do, probably because I'm babbling too much on camera, but it's definitely a horrible idea to let the Chinese intervene, even after the Formosa invasion, um, if you don't have the troops and if you don't have the wherewithal to push deep into North Korea. 